Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we have a little bit of a different video. Ooh, I am I'm actually pretty excited for this. Um, this is a video that may or may not end up becoming a series on the channel, depending or not if you guys like it. I think you are, because I'm 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 willing to bet that I'm gonna have fun with this today. Um, but today we are going to be trying something brand new. Um, something that not a lot of YouTube have even done yet because I don't think it's been kind of uh, noticed and it definitely hasn't been given as much recognition as it um, should have been and should have you you get what I'm trying to say here basically today we are going to be playing America's favorite Dokkan game show the wheel of Dokkan that's right so I cannot take credit for this and let me actually explain how this works in a second but the program that you see on the screen now, the uh, little Wheel of Fortune background was added by me there. Um, of course, this program is kind of a uh, parody or a take on of that, but with Dokkan, and you'll see why in a second. Um, this was created by fellow Dokkan YouTuber Zenovo. I believe that's how you say his name. Um, very chill dude. I've talked to him a little bit on Twitter, um, but I'll leave the link to how to download this for yourself, as well as the link to his channel and his Twitter below, so you can check out the man's himself. Self. Now, you're probably wondering, what the heck are we doing here today? Basically, the Wheel of Dokkan here has all of the characters in my box put into the program, and um, when I hit browse up there, it randomly selects, uh, how many characters are on the screen here? Six, seven, eight characters, as you can see. Um, and basically, once I hit start, the wheel will spin, and it will pick one of the characters in the wheel. Then we're gonna hit browse again, then it'll pick a whole new eight characters, and that'll make up my team. So basically, my team is going to be randomized by this program, which is pretty cool. Now, a couple things to note before we start. One, the rules of this are I have to choose the team that um, whatever the program gives me as the five characters on my team, we'll get to the leader in a second. The five characters on my team, that's what I have to use for, uh, we'll figure out what event we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do, maybe we'll do Buhan? <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. We'll see kind of maybe depending on what we pick, what I can take on. Of course, this is just kind of a trial um, video right now, so we're still working it out. But um, in terms of my leader here, um, I can choose whatever leader I want as long as the leader doesn't get picked by the wheel. So optimally, I would like to use either Mass Saiyan or the LR, um, you know, Super Battle Rogue Gohan as my leader, you know, because we could be getting heroes and villains here. Kind of depends on what we get. Um, but, you know, if one of those guys gets picked in the wheel, then I cannot use them on my team, which is really unfortunate. So here's what I'm going to do. Right now, the wheel is going to be on the screen. Once we get finished picking all of our characters, I'm going to switch back to Dokkan itself. Um, and in the background, while I'm doing the wheel, I'll be picking the characters from my box too. Now, the last thing to note before we actually hop in here, <laughs> some of these characters that are awakened um, are not awakened in my game. <laughs> the art that is used in this thing, by the way, this is very well put together by Zenovo. Um, he provides all of the images that you're actually seeing here now with the download for the program, so you don't have to go find them yourself, which is really helpful. But, they're all awakened, and some of these characters aren't awakened in my box, just out of laziness, or, you know, I just kind of haven't gotten around to them yet, you know, I've been grinding other things. So, we'll see what the game kind of dishes out to us here. So, we're gonna give our first spin in the wheel here let's give it a go all right so it will start spinning until i click stop here well i'm glad you can see my mouse as well Ooh, i can make it disappear Woo! all right let's see what we get here so we got physical spirit bomb goku all right let's throw the mans on the team in the background here and while we're doing that we will browse and we're gonna the unfortunate thing about the program though is that every time you go to try and select um, a new set of characters or like go to the pool um, of images to select a new set of characters it brings you to the c drive of your computer so it, it's not that bad but you know you just kind of have to do a little bit of navigating all Right. Ooh, interesting pool of characters here. Um, let me grab my spirit bomb, Goku. Where is this man? All right, well, I'll, I'll do that in the... Oh, here he is. Okay, I found him. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got the god, Fitbu himself. 
We got Tora, Super Saiyan 3 Vegito, Rose, Beerus, AGL Godku, Gohan, and LR Vegito. That's the man I'm hoping for because I'll actually be able to get through whatever event it is with him on the team. Um, let's see here. We'll start the wheel. Um, I think the only characters that aren't Dokkan Awakened here for me are... Um, let's see that would be beerus and vegeta are the only characters that aren't dokkan awakened out of this list so this is a pretty good pool for me let's see what we got oh we got tora oh my gosh all right well that's unfortunate <laughs> that was such a good pool of characters no all right let's see what we get here um, let me actually find my man Tora. There you are. Oh, no, he's not awakened either. Both of the characters that it picked are level 1 SSRs. I'm not sure if I should just take them into battle that way. <laughs> or if I should, you know, actually get them to UR. I'll decide between the cut. All right. Ooh, this is an interesting pool here. Everything here is awakened except for Kami. Um, or I guess it's not Kami. What am I talking about? That's King Piccolo and Vegeta there. So let's get this wheel spinning. Do, 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 do. I'm having a lot of fun with this, actually. This is a pretty interesting concept. All right. Now, these videos will probably be a little bit longer if we do continue them, because obviously we have to do the wheel shenanigans in the beginning. Um, ooh, Bardock. Okay, he is actually awakened. That's definitely a good one for me. Um, so we will have to go through obviously the wheel shenanigans and then, um, of course, like setting up the team in the background for me, which you guys won't see, but then we'll actually have to take on the event. So these might be a little bit longer videos. Alrighty. Um, let's see here. Ooh, interesting. So that's the physical Vegeta. Ooh, half of these units are not awoken for me. I'm not excited about this one. Oh, wait, what? Nani? What happened? Did I break it? I think I broke it. I click browse and then I, I think I clicked it again. Uh, hold on. Technical difficulties. Give me a second. All right. So unfortunately I had to reset. It just wouldn't spin the wheel. I have no idea why. And now it's showing these little things on the side. I have no idea. That's actually part of um, the text on my like the side of my uh, files bar here, which is kind of interesting. It's displaying that. I, no idea why but anyway let's spin the wheel and see what we got Ooh, this is a very interesting pool of units here i swear if we get dead yamcha this run is as good as dead we need a good character here come on come on hit me with some oh no <laughs> oh my gosh i've been waiting to get his sa out so he is awakened but he's unawakened for me right now i'm doing something with him in the background so he's not awakened right now. So we're going to put him on the team not awakened. Oh my gosh. <laughs> of course, me and my big mouth. Oh, I hope we don't get that Yamcha. <laughs> Alrighty. So we actually only have one more character to pick. Um, ooh, and this is not a good... Ooh, wait, Broly. If we could get Broly. Oh, come on. Give me Broly. Come on, give me Broly. <laughs> Come on, give me Broly. This is the last character that no Spirit Bomb Goku Also not awakened in my box. Oh no. Oh no. Oh actually you know what? I just realized we're gonna have to spin again. Because I already have um the physical spirit bomb Goku, and since they have the same name, I unfortunately can't run them on the same team. Hmm. I'm not sure if the rules state then that we just redo it or we select a new pool of characters, but I'm going to guess that we redo the wheel. So we're going to do that. Um, I can be corrected in the comment section if any of you know are familiar with the series or if Zenovo himself is watching this video, then you can correct me there. If we get the Goku again, that would be really funny. Oh, I thought we were going to. Wait, I clicked stop, didn't I? Oh, 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 okay. Jackie Chun. <laughs> Ironically, the only... <laughs> The only Dokkan Awakened character on this team. He's not even max level. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Hmm. All right, let's cut to Dokkan. And um, we'll see what we're going to run as a leader here. All right. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is the team we're rocking. So I decided to go with Max Saiyan as a lead because I figure he'll link better with uh, maybe even Tora, but Bardock for the most part. We... <laughs> 
Dead Yamcha, which I've been feeding in SA, so I've not worked on his, uh... I have a, he's unawakened because I've been working on his essay, but I, I figured for the integrity of the game, the way that the characters are in my box is the way that we're going to take them. Jackie Chun, thankfully he's awakened. He's only SA-10 though. <laughs> this guy's level 60 and the Tor is level 1. So... <laughs> oh man, this is going to be great. Alright, let's see what event we can actually take on here. Um, we have the tech leader Let's take on something that's a little bit easier That's not too difficult um, But I'd also don't want to take on anything that's too You know what? Let's take on the STR cell event Maybe no because you need soul versus soul with that. All right, hold on Let me decide off camera what uh, event we're gonna do all right, after much thought and consideration, we're going to do the OG Goku backstage. Oh boy. <laughs> this is uh, this is not going to go well. Now, I have a couple options here. I can try and find a rainbow lead to kind of assist my team. Or I could run that Broly friend that I passed by a little bit ago and just try and buff my, uh, my mass Saiyan. Hmm, because then at least the rest of the units would still be getting a 50% buff. And I can't bring anything too OP because, again, we have the integrity of the Wheel of Dokkan at stake here. Um, you know what? Hmm, is it cheating if I bring Goku? He is the only rainbow lead I can find. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna bring him <laughs> this is only a trial video so we'll see how this goes i do want you guys though in the comment section below give me some input on what you think of the idea as a whole of course this episode you know might not be as the normal ones usually go um oh please give it to mass saiyan <laughs> um you know so we'll have to see um how this series continues in the future if you guys want it if you really enjoy this type of thing um then i will definitely continue doing it because i'm certainly enjoying myself right now um and i definitely do think that this program itself not just like the concept of the video series but the program itself deserves a lot more recognition than it's getting because the guy is kind of like me he's a channel that doesn't have too many subs yet um so you know i i want to kind of help promote this man because he, he did something really cool i honestly think that the program is really awesome you know it might not be the most visually appealing yet i think he did say in his video that he's actually going to work on that for the future making it a little bit more you know visually appealing um but still the program is awesome all right so let's see here um these two link so we're gonna keep these guys mm, nah we're gonna put um we're gonna put goku off rotation because if i put bardock in the front that's not gonna end well <laughs> Only because, you know, obviously tight disadvantage there. Ooh, we have 150k health. That's not terrible, I guess. I probably should have brought better items, huh? Alright, well, actually, I didn't even think about that. At least the man Jackie Chun can stun a little bit. That's actually going to be really helpful for our cause. Alright, ooh, and we have the great name Tora. Oh, no! <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have picked this with, uh, with the tech being the first stage here. Oh, and we have Yamcha! No, I <laughs> didn't. Oh, I didn't think this through at all. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming Goku... Oh, no, Mass Saiyan has... Wait, did I see that right? Yeah, Mass Saiyan has more defense. All right, cool. Um, Let's have... You know what? Actually, bringing the LR Goku will help because we can heal. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot of healing. Oh, man, Mass Saiyan can't super, though. Now, my Mass Saiyan 2 is pretty decent. Mm, do I... kind of want to use a... Yeah, I'm going to use a Yama <laughs> because I'm scared of the back uh, Yamcha getting hit there. Um, but my um, Mass Saiyan does have a dupe in the bottom right path and he is SA-10. So he should be hitting decently hard and obviously this team only has a total of 150% boost. Oh yeah, with the LR Goku, this should be a little bit easier. <laughs> It might be cheating just a little bit, but maybe next time um, when we do this sort of thing. I have a couple ideas actually for this series, you know, besides ones that the creator has put in place. Oh boy, this is a garbage rotation. We're actually going to have Bardock back there because he will take less damage than Toro will. That's for darn sure. Ah, oh, we're not even going to get to super with Jackie Chun. 
that's unfortunate all right anyway um i have some ideas for this series if you guys like this sort of thing um i'm gonna do maybe one where i only do like one monotype because you can organize it that way in the wheel you know maybe i only do heroes so then i'll run like tech vb as the lead you know if tech vb doesn't get picked um you know or i'll run str rose as the lead you know depending on you know if we do heroes or villains or whatnot you know like i said we might do monotypes maybe we'll do hero int maybe we'll do you know extreme agl that sort of thing it's kind of all up to you guys whatever you guys think um you would like to see come out of this series then that's what we'll do all right i feel bad because i almost feel like i'm cheating <laughs> with the uh with the goku here but <laughs> I, I feel bad but i also don't at the same time because i don't want to lose <laughs> All right, Mass Saiyan should be able to take him out. Man, I wish his super attack was a little bit less pixely. Um, at least the beginning bit, anyway. Ooh! Did he almost hit for a milli? Wow! Okay, I know that was on a crit, but dang! That man is out here! <laughs> All right, ooh! Not good rotations yet again. Oh no! I misclicked! <laughs> Oh no, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I meant to give Jackie Chun more key than that. No. Oh my gosh. 97. Yikes. And we still have the awakened Goku Black to go. Yikes, my boy. We might lose. <laughs> Why are all of our good units on one rotation? <laughs> I made a mistake. All right, let's heal up a little bit of Goku. Yeah, we're definitely using the Sensu Beam. There's no way. I wanted to see how much he healed before I used the Sensu Beam, but there's no way that we're not using the Sensu Beam. All right, um, right, we'll do this. Man, all of our, all of our, like, dead units, our dead weight units, essentially, are all on one rotation. Also, LR Goku is probably going to carry us here, um, considering this is an STL. <laughs> yep. Oh, our man is definitely carrying us here. <laughs> But here's the thing, though. Even though, um, oh, might censor that out. Actually, I did, I accidentally I was wiping off my screen and my notification bar and stuff popped up. Nah, 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 nah. That's the private stuff, my boy. <laughs> nah, but anyway, um, this is still kind of difficult considering the fact that we have, um, like this whole rotation is just kind of borked, and all of our OP units are on the other rotation. Um, I'm gonna use another Yama here. Just because I don't feel comfortable. Alright, cool. Um, I know this low-key, this is kind of cheating. But I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Because I have a giant smile on my face. Really? <laughs> you couldn't have done that after Jackie Chun was going to super you? My boy. <laughs> Come on now. Don't do me dirty like that. Alright. Ooh, I do like this. You know what else I totally forgot about? That this Yamcha's farmable. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I totally forgot that that man's farmable. I've been just using some, some blah, 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 excuse me, summonable SR ones. Because I barely ever touch the, um, what do you call it? The, um, Super Strike units. So I always forget about them. Um, but I'll have to actually do that. Alright, um, should we do this? Because our man's is going to get an Ultra Super. Yeah, why not? Oh my gosh, he healed up a lot. Holy cow. All right, now, here's what we'll do. Despite everything, Tora, if we don't kill him, before Tora gets a chance to attack, <laughs> or b before uh, Black, excuse me, gets a chance to attack in the back, we're going to die. Ooh. Maybe we'll die. I don't know. We'll see. All right, will Bardock be enough to take him out? Oh, I'm sorry, Mask Saiyan. We don't know who it is behind the mask. My bad. Oh, it wasn't enough. Can Tora come in clutch? No. All right, how much damage are we going to take? Ooh, oof. <laughs> at least we had, uh, at least we had the seal there. Man, that is really unfortunate. Okay. Um. As much as I want to save that all for Goku, I feel like it's important that we do this. Um, and you know what? We could go Stusher, but where would be the fun in that? <laughs> if we're going down, we're going down. But no, no, I think our man Jackie Chun is going to be the hero. Yeah, he took him out. All right, that's what I'm talking about. 
Alrighty, well, there, there goes all the XP on those units that I was missing. Cool. That was pretty fun, and we were so close to our Dokkan attack, too. Alright, guys, well, that is it for this video. I honestly really enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun with that. Again, shout out to Zenovo for making the awesome Wheel of Dokkan program. Um, if you guys like this, I will definitely be making more videos on it in the future. Um, you know, if you guys want to see type specific ones, you know, like, you know, like hero int or, you know, like just all int or I'm just using int because it's the first type that comes to my head, I guess. Um, you know, or like mono heroes or mono villains. Um, or if you don't like the series, then you can put that down there too. I just want to hear what you got to say about it, but I definitely enjoy it. Uh, so I think I'm going to make another video on at least one more. <laughs> if you guys don't like it, then I'll at least just make one more, but I think I'm going to make one more either way but if you guys really like it then we'll uh, make this a continuous series on the channel and another thing that we can do with this as well is we can use this for races so we can kind of build random teams um, with other Dokkan YouTubers and race against them with the Wheel of Dokkan so I think that that would be pretty cool to do as well um, but either way guys that's just another idea for you I will leave you with that one I will see you in the next video I bring you two out peace by the way again check it out in the description if you want to check out the Wheel of Dokkan for yourself